everybody. I'm glad to be here. Um, looking at me, you can actually identify where I'm coming from. Right? Right? Not like my village village, like my tribe. Right? But I can't tell the same for everybody here. Do I look funny? You see, um, over time, we've had, we've had, um, I've had issues personally where people can't identify who they are. The Igbos, we have a very rich culture, a very rich culture. The Aosas too have theirs, Edo's have theirs. What I'm Igbo, so I have to talk about Igbo, right? So, when I got the when I got an invite to this, I went online to actually look up what we have in the Igbo as a tradition. I found very little. Very little. Most of us grow up from nursery schools to secondary schools without actually having an idea of what our tradition looks like. How many of us have ever been to a New Year festival here? Raise your hand. Very little. How many of us know what our naming ceremonies in Ebola look like? You see what colonization has done. You see, we used to have a very rich culture. Westernization came. We threw it all away and embraced theirs. You see, it's like we are trying to impress the whites by dressing like them. If I ask how many people have in their wardrobe a traditional outfit of their tribe, and how many, and I cross-check it around across how many Western outfits you have, you find out is alarming, right? Right? So I'm saying, let's blend it. Why can't our traditional outfits be corporate enough for our, our society? I mean, this is Igbo land. You have an Igbo man build a company, employ Igbos, and they can't dress traditionally to work. If it's in a white man's land, it's understandable. You are in their culture, but this is our culture. Some companies only leave it for Fridays. Fridays for traditional, you get. We only accept your traditionals on Fridays. In my own land. It's funny. That in a secondary school or in a nursery school or primary school, a child cannot wear beads to school. How many of you wore beads to school? They will suspend you. But is it wrong? Will it make you to fail exam? So why not? So I'm saying, imagine your CEO works calls for a board meeting and walks into the board meeting like this, what will be the first thing that will come to your mind? He has gone mad again. I'm pushing for a narrative where we can, we can proudly, proudly wear distance and hold our shoulders high and be proud of where we are coming from and what we have. Some of you only wear your traditional outfits when you are going for ex- when you are going for weddings. In fact, some of us there is only on our wedding day actually that we got to wear that we got to wear a traditional outfit. True or false? And after that, we are done with it. And it's bad. So I'm going to show you some images I created for this. If you call for an interview in a bank. And this young man walks in like this. Does it mean he's not competent for the job? I mean, the interview is in Ishike. His homeland. Is it a crime for him to dress like this and come? So why can't he dress like this and go? Why do I look funny to you, really? 
So I'm not saying we should discard the, the Western cultures we have. I'm just saying, let us find a way to create a balance. Right? Take a little bit of Westernization, a little bit of our culture, blend it together. A wise man said, do not buy what you can steal. And do not steal what you can borrow. No, no wise man said that. No wise man can say that kind of thing. <laughs> Imagine this was you attending your lectures. Smart. Beautiful. You see, we need to put our creative industry to, we need to stretch it. There are a lot of designers that worked with for these things to, to work. And it's, it's, a lot, it's amazing what, how these guys think. We can have this in massive production and sell it out as our culture. And the white will be willing to embrace it as this as well. That's what I'm saying. Why leave this thing alone till Sunday? <laughs> no. Is this not beautiful enough to your eyes? So why can't you go to bank? Imagine you walk into this and the cashier is dressed like this. Will she die? I bet the money will not transfer. <laughs> Very regular. And it is like the most popular one we have. You are even just like that. From her ties, headbands, purses, sandals, shoes. See, if you go to Abba, you see a whole market of this. You see a whole market of this. And what are we doing with it? Nothing. You just tie it as it. Some of you even use it as bed sheets to sleep. You see, I, I, I looked up Fly Emirates, and you will see that even their hostesses have their hijab. So why shouldn't we have our traditional stuff on? Imagine this was a, an, a, an air hostess or a pilot. We are selling our identity to the world on the first flight. Or you walk into an eatery, and this kind of person comes to serve you. Just like this. No shame about where she's coming from. I don't know about you, but this is sexy. <laughs> this could be your pastor. He will not lose his anointing, I mean. And this could be your president. No, come to think of it, come to think of it. When, when, when Good Luck Jonathan was the president, he had all his official portraits in his Niger Delta attire. Same thing with President Buhari currently. His official portrait is his native attire. How many Eastern governors have their official portrait in, their, in our famous Ishiago? How many? And what is our guarantee that when they become a president, they are going to have an official portrait with their traditional attire. You see, we have problem is we have loved the Western culture more than the Westerners itself. We like suit and tie. So this could be your president. Now, um, Northern primary schools, we can modify our, even if it's sportswears, at least let's only sportswears have it for now. An Igbo man owns a school. I mean, it's your school for crying out loud. The federal government can't tell you what to use and make your uniforms. That's many, many waterproof stuff they use. <laughs> Why can't it be our fabric? Must we leave it for cultural day? For some schools don't even observe cultural days any longer. It's bad. We need to start talking about this. We need to start taking pictures. So I know my picture is going to go on social media. I know. When you just like that, put it out. 
So you are, you, are, you are inspiring designers to keep creating. And it's, a lit, it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. When all things work out well, we'll be at the forefront selling this, our materials out to the world. How are we going to sell our market? Nobody's going to sell it for us. We are going to sell it for ourselves. So how do you want to be, sell it? How do you want to be seen? This is me. I have, I have Ankara shorts. By fit, you can go have a fitness training. You're jogging. It could be an Ankara short. It could be anything. It could be a fabric. See, some of you have not worn a bracelet all your life until your wedding day. It will not start heavy on your neck. Get used to it. Start this conversation. There is no shame in it. Be proud of your culture. Be proud of where you're going to. Be proud of where you're coming from. And all of us, little by little, will change this narrative. Thank you very much.